Hi Internet, it's MaggieBot. I'm here with a weekend gaming for you. And hopefully you've noticed I took a couple of months off, kind of unexpectedly. Uh, I got a cool new position. I'm doing social media and purchasing at a company I love, love, love. I've been with them for like ever. Um, but it ended up where I really needed to focus and kind of start up their internet brand and get some videos done for them. And so a lot of my time has been devoted to that. I am super thrilled though to start in on my personal channel again and start growing again because you know it kind of tapers off if you don't make content and so uh, you will see me much more now that I've kind of gotten into the flow of things. Um, I will kind of link up here the videos that I do for work. They're just they're very they're very specific to where I am. They're talking about games as they come out and kind of new stuff in our library, which is kind of cool anyway. Um, and also, I was also a big part of a charity tournament last week, and we raised twenty six thousand dollars for Child's Play, but it took all of the time and effort, all of it. So. Um, now we get into games. So we're in kind of a slow season. It is Ameritrash minis story based card game season. And we won't really see awesome Euro wooden cube stuff for like months. It will be Gen Con and Essen and that stuff will start coming in and Christmas will come around and by January my head will explode by all the things I have to learn, which is great. But it just means that we had to dig a little deeper. Um, the last few months we've been replaying a lot of games. I played a lot of Russian Railroads. We played Terra Mystica as we always do. Um, we've also been kind of playing some of the casual stuff like Coup. We played a lot of Coup in the last few months. And Pairs. Pairs is about to come, in, come out for two fast games. Pairs is fantastic. It just is. <laughs> This last maybe two weeks or so, though, I went through and I kind of splurged. I bought a bunch of new stuff. So I'm going to start with the two I haven't played and then move on to the ones I have played. So through Fun Again, I purchased uh, Coal and Colony. This is number two in a three-part Coal series. It's got a lot of wood. It's a three to five player, three hour monstrosity from Germany, from Spielworks. Uh, Thomas Spitzer is the designer. And in it, it's got a little bit of brass where you're kind of like developing things. It's got a choir where the mines that you're, you know, mining at can kind of take over each other. And it's got cards you upgrade and it's got stuff over here and stuff over there. And super complicated, but I've heard that I'm going to love, love, love it. So I bought it without having played it. Yeah, it's, it's the one game I signed up to play at BGGCon and couldn't get into, and so I had to have it. Um, next. next is Paperclip Railways. Um, this is a la, like a mix of, you know, Empire Builder and String Railways. Uh, you get the little stations and stuff and you're going to build out your paperclip trails from one to another to another to another and you get points based on their size and whether people are using your stuff um really cool components it has an old dice tower review on BGG it also has it made it into like Rado's top 10 underrated games and once I started looking at it I was like I've got to have this because string railways paperclip railways I need these things. Um, next we get into some of the stuff I have played. I have not yet reviewed. Uh, the first one, Rococo. Played a demo of this in November. Thought, wow, that's amazing. I hope when this starts showing its face around town, I will be happy and pick it up. And honestly, it just didn't come out much. You saw it here and there, but you didn't really see it wide release. And it turns out that most of their sales have been directly through uh, Griffin Eagle Games. So when I saw it in a, I saw it like at a store I was visiting, I had to pick it up. Uh, it is Matthias Kramer. This is the guy that did Glenmore, and these two are the ones that did Ado. So it's Stefan and Louise Mal Malls. Malls. Um, 
you see a little bit of each of their influences in the game. You see Matthias with the kind of cool little marketplace mechanics. It's got hand management and you're all trying to make dresses and suits and sell them or rent them for a ball. And there's a billion ways of getting points and there's a cool engine builder mechanic. Um, I've had a lot of fun with it. I hope it stays really good, but I, I would imagine it's going to see a lot of table time really soon. And the last one, and I swear this is this is my next review right here, because Fantasy Flight is not talking about this. It's Blue Moon Legends! Blue Moon! Blue Moon Legends. Uh, Blue Moon Legends stemmed from a two-player Cosmos game. Uh, they made Blue Moon. And then they made another deck and 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 once they figured out that it was a big hit people couldn't get all the decks they were paying ridiculous amounts trying to trade them buy them get them so they put it together in a little fifty dollar package you get all ten decks in the box and then it came out and no one's talking about it so for a two player you play a tribe you try and attract these ancient dragons or something. I don't know. You get to play a uh, two player tug of war, and each deck is very different. You can play things that kind of spam the board all at once. You can play uh, a deck that allows you to kind of save cards and just spam later on. And they all have cool powers, and they all have cool art, and just ridiculous naked pregnant ladies in a lightning storm. Um, very, very fun. It's a little on the light side for me, which is just, just fine. Uh, for two players, you can't always have that just ruggedly deep game. If I'm going to play that deep, we're just going to play Magic. So if I play a two-player card game, it's going to be like Netrunner or something like Blue Moon or Battle Line. And this is Rainier Knizia as well, so it kind of fits right into what I like in a two-player. Um, I want to show it off. I want to show it in my next review, so I think that'll be my next one. I hope it starts seeing some love out here soon. Um, that might be all. Uh, I am expecting to get some of these on the table soon and get some new reviews out, but if you have anything you'd like to see, let me know. Um, I will be willing to hear anything. Um, I still want to do kind of a top 10 of all time or something similar to that. I just need to sit down and kind of focus enough to get those on a piece of paper so I can talk about them. But uh, it's nice to see you again. Bye.